Yeah, it certainly does. There, there haven't been any crossings today. We think that's probably down to the weather. But bear in mind, it's only March, and through the depths of winter this year alone, there have already been 3,000 people arriving here. And people in this town see it. I spoke to one lady in the centre today who said she lives opposite the port, and when she sees people coming in, it's really upsetting. It's horrible, she says, to look especially at the children and think of the decisions that those parents have had to make. Not everyone is so sympathetic, I have to say, but everyone here accepts there is a problem. Does the government have the solution, though? I have to say I was met with uh, a difference. Some people supporting it, some a degree of scepticism. Yes, definitely a bigger deterrent, yeah. Um, yeah, but a lot of these people are coming from countries and not even having wars or anything, like Albania. It's not going to work. Why not? Because, well, to start off with, it, it contravenes the European uh, Act of Human Rights. And to send, where are we going to send them to? She says Rwanda, so the Ran Rwanda plan is still part of the policy. But that's already been challenged in the High Court. I mean, for the chances of that are working are probably remote. Suella Braverman says that the government is acting with compassion and proportion. Do you sense that compassion from the government? Not at the moment. There's no compassion at the moment, but there's proportion, because she's trying to keep her country safe is what she's doing. But there's no compassion in the sense that she's saying that it's going to be a deterring factor in the future. If there was compassion, she could probably say, oh, maybe later on you can apply, because I don't know where you're, what you're fleeing from. So some people here say the government's being too harsh. Others want the toughest action possible as soon as possible. But many are more nuanced. They say they have heard that there will be solutions before. But as Yvette Cooper said in the House of Commons today, they feel like it's Groundhog Day. I have to say there is not a huge amount of trust here that anything is really going to change this time. They're pretty tired of it all.